Okay, here we are again. Uh, I'm going to be honest here. I did not think I would need to do a video on this, but in light of the uh, Cory Booker video I did yesterday and um, the news about Ralph Northam, I believe the Virginia state governor. And yes, I live in Virginia myself. Um, I had to do some research because to be completely honest, I have been staying away from major social media i'm talking like my facebook news feed what was trending on twitter i just needed a break because it was just non-stop stuff ever since uh, earlier last week or even three days ago the big story was you know um the laws about abortion and then also the attack on the um J J jesse uh, J excuse me, the guy from empire so uh, it's just been a whirlwind of toxic information everywhere and i just need to stay away from it so i actually sat uh down the past 30 minutes uh did some research on ralph in regards to what's going on because one thing i want to make sure of okay since he's the governor of virginia let me see if that has anything to do with the recent abortion laws that were on the table uh for the state because there are a lot of people on my news feed who i'm friends with who have thrown their hat into the ring about, you know, different stages of whether or not abortion should be allowed in the state. And I believe, you know, should it be allowed in the third trimester and whatnot. And here's my thing with this, uh, talking about the blackface scenario. Uh, I think he did like a 30 or 40 minute press conference on yesterday and I did watch parts of it. <sighs> my, my, the big question is whether or not he should resign. Now, Originally, he said that was him in the photo. Uh, he he was dressed up for uh, um, like a, a dance concert, you know, Michael Jackson. It was like 1984, I believe he said it was. So uh, this was thriller era Michael. And I'm looking at the photo. I'm like, damn, my, my, I don't think Michael was ever that dark, even, you know, when uh, <laughs> he was a kid with the Jackson 5 and whatnot. And um, then as time went on, I was thinking to myself, because what he said, he had the glove on and. Uh, you know, I think he had like what, like glittery socks or shoes or whatever the case may be. And um, somebody at the press conference asked if he could still moonwalk. And then his wife was like, "No, nah, this is not. Nah, don't don't do it." I'm like, "Go ahead and do it. Be like, <laughs> be like Michael." Um, after he got out of court and started dancing on the van. And um, the the thing is, and that's why I didn't jump on this story to talk about it because I feel like there's just so much noise going on on social media about this kind of stuff that it's really distracting from what the facts are. And I go online and yeah, I actually went on the news feed uh, earlier today because I've been up since like five o'clock. I've already went out, did some grocery shopping and whatnot, got some breakfast at Biscuitville. I'm just sitting up, you know, catching up on the news. And I mean the news, not, not these clickbait articles, not these essay long posts that people make on Facebook, but let me just, you know, go on the news, get as many facts as I can and then record. And I'm only doing this video because a lot of people have been asking me about it because I did speak on a Cory Booker thing and whatnot. And not to mention that video is currently demonetized by YouTube and I am not shocked by that at all. So, and also one more disclaimer about that video in the video, I never say that Cory Booker will win the presidency. I think the title of the video was could Cory Booker win the next presidential election? And in the video, I talk about how anybody could win at this point because of the fact I remember being a Liberty student. I remember being in the Vine Center for convocation when Donald Trump came for the first time to speak. This was before President Trump. So I'm saying Donald Trump. And he literally spent like 40 minutes talking about the Obama administration and then pretty much was like, you know what, maybe maybe I'll run for the next election. And then half the people were laughing, half the other people were cheering and people thought it was a joke and then he won. So all I'm saying is whoever throws that hat into the ring, you better pay attention because that person may be the next president. So moving on to the governor situation, what really kind of gets me is the fact that at first he said it wasn't, well, it was him in the photo. And then in the press conference, he's like, after closer observation, I realized that wasn't me. And I'm just like, wait, what? So that's one strike. And another thing about the whole social media noise thing, a lot of the people who are online now saying, you know, and I'm really speaking to my my circle. I'm really talking mainly about my own um, Facebook news feed. You know, all the friends I have that have post their um, thoughts on this. The people who are saying he should be he should resign. He has no business being in the governor's mansion. 
those are a lot of the same people who thought that Brett Kavanaugh was fine. You know, um, I'm sorry if I messed it up, but what, what was he uh, going for Congress or something like that? I forgot the exact position, the Senate senator. And I'm just like, well, it wasn't he in a somewhat similar position uh, when he was what high school, college age, he made some, you know, quote unquote mistakes in regards to, you know, drinking a lot and potentially, you know, sexual allegate pretty much the Bill Cosby in politics, if you will. Yet, oh, the SNL sketches, you know what? No, 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 no. That's not funny. This guy deserves to be in the, um, you know, the uh, D.C. and whatnot. But then you have the V.A. governor who was allegedly in the photos, you know, right there, blackface and all. And, you know, he deserves to be resigned. And, and it just gets me because my first instinct was the fact that are you saying he should resign because you believe him portraying blackface is wrong? Or are you saying he should resign because, number one, he's a Democrat. I don't like Democrats. He needs to go. Number two, uh, because of his statements, you know, that kind of because the whole abortion thing in Virginia was kind of like a self-contained thing. But once he made his comments about it, that's when it became a na nationwide, you know, um you know, madhouse when it comes to news. So are you saying he should resign because what he did was wrong in regards to blackface? Or are you saying that he should resign just because you didn't like his stance on abortion? That's what's really making me. I, I was actually talking with another friend of mine about, you know, faith in humanity. It's it's very low. If I were to describe it, it's like a car running on fumes that's like the level of my faith in humanity here because everybody makes a lot of noise but nobody's making a lot of sense like people talking about how he's backtracking on his story how he was the guy but he wasn't the guy i feel people who state their opinions in these long post and videos are doing the same thing where let's just say and I, i'm going to throw it out here i'm just going to throw it out here what if um the governor was a republican and it's the exact same scenario. He had the black face on and he was in the yearbook. And at first he said it was him, but then he didn't. Would those same people saying that Ralph should resign now, because, you know, because in real life he's a Democrat. If he was a Republican, would they be changing their tune going from black face is wrong and it's hurtful and, you know, it's demeaning to an entire race of people? Or if he was a Republican, would they be saying that was like 20, uh, what is it, like 25, 20 some years ago? I'm sorry, look, I, it's early and my math is off, but what, like, that was like 20 some years ago. He's a change, man. He's not the same person anymore. I, 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 I. No, I'm serious. If he was a Republican, I bet a lot of these people saying resign will be changing their tune. It's kind of like, you know, the one question I really want to know is how far back are we looking at things? And this goes for the Me Too movement. This goes for the uh, LGBT community. Um, this goes for pretty much anybody going for careers or whatnot. I just feel like we live in a time where if you ever want to make something of yourself, you need to like burn all your pictures, delete all your social media you, because people will find some way to destroy you. And another question in regards to this blackface picture, is it something that only came up recently due to the whole abortion laws earlier this or uh, last week? That's another thing I've been wondering about. So and also in this video, I am by no means talking about my stance on abortion. That's not what this video is about. This is about, you know, the whole blackface controversy. Do I think he should resign? Let me just say this much. What he did, yeah, he is kind of messed. It really messed up. I mean, the fact that it had to be explained to him about, you know, why it's wrong to do that. And he's like, well, you know, uh, I was a different person back then. I didn't realize about the hurtful stereotypes and whatnot. And uh, what was it? The other person in the picture had a KKK outfit. So, uh, I mean, if okay, the whole quote unquote blackface is one thing. But to not recognize, you know, the KKK outfit is wrong and you're literally clearly standing next to a quote, you know, air quote member of the KKK while you're wearing blackface. That's not very convincing to me. That's pretty much, you know, yeah, that's pretty messed up. So maybe it's best to. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I did um read another report that he is not. He doesn't plan to resign. He reminds me of a uh, wolf on Wall Street. He's like, I'm not effing leaving. <laughs> I'm not effing leaving. So my question is, are we handling this by case by case format? Because, you know, you got Trump with the whole grab him by the you know what's and all these allegations and stuff like that. 
all I'm saying is make it balanced all the whole way around, regardless of political affiliation, sex, gender. Oh, well, excuse me. Political affiliation, gender, and sex are the same thing. My bad. Um, you know, race, um, sexual orientation, because this is getting ridiculous. The fact that they're just pulling stuff out of the woodworks whenever somebody does something that another person doesn't like. It's like, yo, give me a screen. Do you got a screenshot of that time he sent you a, or when she said this, or, you know, when they took a photo with this? Because this, I, I don't know, because I feel like everybody has dirt, because everybody has that one friend who probably screenshots or has embarrassing photos and stuff like that that they can use to destroy you. I don't care if it was something for 20 years ago or even 15 or hell in current times, you know, with kids growing up with this kind of stuff. I feel bad for them because almost everything they do could be, you know, recorded at any moment and used against them in their future. So all I'm saying is how far back with the Me Too thing, with the sexual allegations, how far are we going back with this stuff um, in situations like this? When you have somebody in, you know, up in age pulling stuff from their high school and college years to be used to pretty much destroy their career. How far are we going back with this stuff? So Kevin Hart, you know what? Ten year old tweets. How far are we going back with this stuff? Because to me, this is just ridiculous. I mean, like if he would have just stood firm and said, hey, that is me. I'm not backtracking like this is me and I'm sticking with it because apparently they're going to do the college or university is going to go back and research to ensure this is him in the photos. I mean, it's one thing when you say that's me in the photo, but then another when you say that's not me. Because I'm thinking if you don't think that's yourself, either how many people at that college wore blackface or how many times have you worn blackface if you can't even recognize yourself when you wore blackface? That's all I'm saying. So with that being said, folks, uh, this video, I don't mean to make it into right. A rant format because when I do these political theme videos they are not meant for views like I can I could I could not care less if they get a hundred views I mean if enough people actually ask me what my thoughts on something are that's actually good because it means you actually have an interest in what my insight is as a person I rarely talk about this stuff I never post about it unless there's a hella funny meme I don't really talk about it with other people there are just a handful I talk with in the bar the barbershop <laughs> like like uh eddie said on um the barbershop movies like this is the barbershop the the black man's country club where the but where a black man means something they talk about politics life and everything that's literally how i feel about it. when i go once a month to the barbershop and i know i go to the same barbershop back in my hometown it's an hour away i gladly jump in the car go hang out with the people I know we talk and then I come on back or I stay home for a couple days because that's how I roll in Lynchburg. Mm -mm, I, ain't, I ain't even trying that up in here, you know, not the name of the city itself, but you know, you just never know. There are eyes and ears through all these walls. You just know, no, 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 no. So I just think of myself. Um, I, I hope I never get that famous. I mean, I'd rather just stay where I am because as far as I know, I don't think I've done anything or said anything that could be used against me to destroy my career. I, I don't think that's happened because uh, I was raised better than that. But at the same time, it's just we live in a day and age where they can dig up stuff from like 2007 on Facebook or Twitter or whatnot and then take something you said or retweeted and then use that against you. And I'm 27 years old. I don't want to be punished for something from when I was five. So I'm just saying what, what when are we going to establish as a society when to let things go? Like it's one thing to, okay, this like, I'm going to use the example again, the whole Roseanne Barr situation. That was something that was shut down right when it happened. And I appreciate that. The Kevin Hart thing, these are tweets from 10 years ago, so why are you waiting until now when those tweets were literally there for 10 years? And then when it comes to the fact that I don't think we are in a society where people are allowed to grow, change, and mature. Because if you're being held accountable for something you did like 30 years ago and you're a completely different person, it doesn't matter how many schools you donate to. It doesn't matter how many... Um, foundations you set up if somebody digs up something from when you were 19 years old and you're currently like 50 and you've done all this great stuff for the nation and whatnot if that if that picture if that um message you uh, the private message you sent someone 
if that is used and blown up and starts trending, you will be destroyed. And I just feel like that pretty much stunts anybody's growth as a person because you are judged by something you did years ago. That's pretty much how I feel about any kind of situation like this, because I, I don't know the man personally. As far as I know, I've never met him. I don't know if he spoke at Liberty. I mean, he is a Democrat, so I doubt he ever has um, or got the invite to. But when it comes to this stuff, you know, fine. I mean, it, I guess the one thing I do like about the whole R. Kelly situation, stay with me here, is like a lot of people were saying, you know, keep that same energy, you know, keep that same energy when you're saying, you know, um, R. Kelly should be in jail. And then we do some digging on like Michael Jackson, the whole kid situation and stuff like that. Or, you know, Bill Cosby with sexual allegations and why he's in jail now. I'm talking to the people I know and people online who always post stuff politically. Keep that same energy. If you're talking about this guy getting, you know, getting the boot to resign because of his blackface photos and the fact that, you know, um, he he's lying and stuff like that. Keep that same energy when next time Trump is in the news for, you know, an allegation or something that he did 20, 30 years ago that's now making news or headlines, whether it be a recording and whatnot, and it's clearly him in the recordings. Keep that same energy. Like, don't be saying, you know, oh, he's changed and people grow. No, 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 no. Keep that same energy when uh, uh, Governor uh, Northam is going through this uh, blackface controversy, regardless as to whether or not he's uh, Democrat or Republican. That's all I got to say. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.